okay so somebody requested for a video about color grade so i'm going to be showing you a video about color grade now there are a lot of videos online there are a lot of hard ways to do it there are different different ways to do color grading online but not when there are easier ways most especially for studio photographers and beginners who do not know how to create a preset do not know how to color grade there are easier ways so in this particular video i am going to be using the answer for our color grades and it's going to be fast very very fast we can rely on the answer anytime for a very good color grade and that is what i'm going to be doing on this video so dive with me into my system let me show you how to use the answer for color grade and mind you if you want to get the answer after watching the video please i will have a promo code on the description box that you can check out to get the answer it's a one-time purchase once you purchase it you are good to go so please 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 join me as we go into the video the software i'm going to be using for the color grade for this class would be the answer mind you if you are interested in the software link is in the description box so you go there check it out and thank me later it's not a web-based software you don't have to use the internet to use it in fact let me turn off my internet so it won't be like is the internet i'm using to operate it so the first thing we want to do is to come to filter go to the answer and click on the answer the answer is a company that creates colors for films to give you films look vintage look you know let's give you something good just make your your images look better all right so i think that's what um the answer is all about making your life better <laughs> better so my image is already sharp looking good so we want to everything if you can check the scopes here you can check everything is in line everything is in line all right so let's just go through these are some of the presets if you want film preset here are your film preset if you want normal preset i think is this normal presets that are here but the ones at this end they are more contrasty than this so for example i'm going to try the first one which is this if you click on this it's um let's come this way if you click on the first one if you click on the first one this is what you get now once you see this in your image you don't have to panic you can easily tweak the colors you can do one or two like for this image now i might like the color that is given i might like the skin tone the contrast but i don't like this stuff that i'm seeing here i can easily just come to here sorry can easily come to sorry think is um yes yes the same one i clicked before you can click that and it will go off but if you like it you can just keep it and tweak it you can just go in and tweak it the way you want and i noticed another thing the image is having noise i know a lot of you don't like noise on your images if you feel like you don't like the noise you don't want noise look at look at the original image there is no noise on the background but this has a lot of noise if you don't like the noise you can just go can remove film grain if you want to tweak it you can tweak it if you want to reduce the amount you can do all of that so if you don't like it you can just reduce it i'm zooming in so that um i will just see what i'm doing but we can take it back but if you're not okay with what you're seeing now you go to the next one which is this one as you can see there are just a lot of beautiful colors i think i like this one because it's killing every other color behind and leaving her looking good so let's see her before and after this is the before these are after this color is looking too shouty but when you bring this in it becomes a little bit more contrasty and a little bit more desaturated so let's start with this we just click on ok once you click on ok you can see now the problem is i did not duplicate the image so i cannot reduce the opacity so i'll undo that make sure you always duplicate your image and turn it into a smart object if possible so that you will not be destroying anything you understand so let's go to 
the answer again i don't know but the last color i selected will be the color showing here so i'm expecting this color to now affect our image so you now have it the color the last color i use is the one showing here so you now say okay once you say okay you feel like it's too much you just have to reduce it reduce it here is your before and here is your after your before and your after so it's another means of you just piling just gathering a lot of preset on each on top each other so that you get that thing that you're looking for so that somebody else cannot just look at your image and just detect what you did so you can go back and merge everything together go back and just click the answer again so once you click it you can go back look for something else let's look for let's look for something like this no that's not okay for me i think i'm getting this melanin gold kind of feel which is a nice thing um so there are just a lot of colors you can choose from see the thing is the way my eyes are is not the way your eyes are so you might not be liking the colors i'm selecting that's why there are a lot of colors here for you to pick from trust me you are going to love this software all these plugins all these um, colors are here so i just say okay i'll do the same thing again reduce the opacity so when we group these two together group these two together here is your before here is your after here is your before here is your after so i'm loving what i'm seeing here but this is not how I gave the image to the client. This is how I gave the image to the client. And I didn't use the answer for the color grief. I, I had used it. I've, I've gotten something more settled like this. So let's look for this kind of image. This is a 16-bit image, right? This is a, the other one I was working on was 8 bits. Now this 16-bit image is just an image I just brought in from Lightroom. So we just go to the answer and um, this time i'm going to go to the theme section which is this section instead of presets here go to theme section and i'm already getting something nice you see this is beautiful this is really really beautiful it's not making the image that shouty it's not popping the the reds not making the reds just be very harsh it's just adding a little feel into the image now the difference between this part and this part is if i click this now you see this is that color so let's stick to the film section and uh, let's go back to the beginning stay here come to film section and then uh, look for something something looking nice my okay okay sorry i i mistakenly turned this off so let's see this is also nice so there are a lot of colors here that would just easy distress you can use this to color grade a full wedding and not worry so they have the answer for premiere pro you can use the same things for your videos they have the answer for uh, da Vinci Resolve, all you have to do is just one click and you are good to go. If you are that kind of person that wants to tweak, you can now come to this end and tweak. So let's go with something like this or this. So I will just zoom in and see. As you can see, this section is not adding noise to my image, but it's giving me the village village vibes this is good this is good i think i will go with what i'm seeing here for this image so remember i am supposed to duplicate which i did not do so let's go back and cancel and duplicate this after duplicating it go back to the answer and pick like right now it's looking too normal and uh, looking too too reddish so i think this color works this works and this also works so let's stick with this let's stick with this so we just say okay 
and reduce the opacity a little and reduce it then we'll go back probably just if you want to add more colors if you at this point if you want to just increase your blacks you can just go increase your blacks go to maybe just do your s curve do your s curve do your s curve like this then reduce the opacity get your before and your after for those of you that have been watching my video you know i don't like the magic to be happening at once i like the magic to be hap happening gradually so i don't rush when i'm doing things let push this up so this will give the image life so another thing about s curve is s curve make the contrast too serious so you just have to make sure you're not using too much of it so let's go to our next image let's go to our next image which is um let's let's now work on this particular image so we'll duplicate again come over here i'm just trying to make you understand that the software is packed the software is filled up the software has see this particular color i don't even have to push forward see this particular color i love it i love that color you see this one i love it i love it so all these colors you can you can pick a color and favorite it you can just this color is nice but i think i want to stick with this one or this this is even more better you can even favorite it favorite the colors that you like so that next time uh so that next time you can just go to your favorite and just be using your the ones in your favorite when you open here you just come here you come to favorite you see the color i just selected you just say okay the image is looking very nice very nice and it's having this vintage look already so you don't even have to stress you just have to get this particular plugins and be happy i hope this particular video i've shown you that it is very very easy to color grade your image in seconds yes it's very very easy those of you who buy a lot and preset it's also easy but you see this particular one now you have a lot of options you have a lot of options to to work with if we come to preset and uh, we choose a color maybe we choose this and that is too bad and we choose something like this we can go tweak tweak the color tweak the 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 lens like let's use fuji films this is what fuji films will give you let's use kodak when you go to kodak you can now go down you can go there are other options too you have vintage you even have film damage that you can use and there are a lot of there are a lot of things you can put look at what i just did now to this image i just added more of the old old vibes to the picture let's let's try something else you see you just you're just walking anything that you do and you don't like it there are a lot of you can just turn off grains turn off anything you want to turn off compression you can try move these buttons and see anyone that is off you just turn it on you move the sliders to see if the the what you're getting is what you want to get you just tweak around but the follow comp presets are very very nice already so even if you don't know how to use it you are very very good to go so i just hope this video was helpful i'm going to make more videos on color grading but this is something every photographer should have in their box so please do well to check the description box for this particular video for this particular preset and thank me later